Welcome back to Create Your Health. My name is Peter Bedard, and we have another really interesting healer for you. This is Rena McGill. She is a specialist in neurofeedback. I've never experienced neurofeedback, so let's go check it out, see what it's all about. Come on in. Neurofeedback is a method of changing the brainwave pattern and bringing it back into harmony and balance. What I do with the neurofeedback is I retrain the brain so that they are able to focus, concentrate, keep good control of their emotions, and in general, just have a more enjoyable life. People who have been in car accidents, which is what I see a lot of, mm -hmm. The brain, it moves inside your skull. Right, yeah, it did. It, it, it moves back and forth, uh -huh. it sloshes. <laughs> it sloshes, okay. <laughs> so basically what I'm looking at is when you get hit on one side, it pushes the brain against the other side, uh -huh. and that's the side that really gets hurt worse. What I do with neurofeedback is I take that pattern that's developed because of the injury, and I teach the brain how to put it back into a more normal pattern. It will adapt itself to bad situations mm -hmm. in order to keep moving. So you're really working with the physical part of the body, the yes. physical part of, the, mm -hmm. of our, our brain. Or, mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm looking for changes in mm -hmm. the physical part of the body. You want to go give it a shot? Sure. Okay, sure. Let's go do it. This uh -huh. is what I'm going to do, Peter. This is a clip. It will go on your ear, okay. and these are two electrodes. Okay. You can see they're gold-plated, right. and they will go on very specific spots on your head. What we're going to do now is just look at your brainwave pattern. Okay. Ready? Yeah. You notice every once in a while it has a little spike that sticks up just a little bit higher than the rest. Mm -hmm. That indicates to me some type of a head trauma. I laid my, my motorbike down and... Hit my head, banged my head on the back of a semi. So, in addition to that, and I know this is really hard to see, but you have a pattern which indicates, like right there. I normally only see that when someone has had some type of a episode when their body has reacted adversely. That does not mean you're still doing it. What it means is that the brain has developed the pattern. Of going around it. And so what you need to do, mm -hmm. if you chose, it would be to change that. On here, this is your beta. Uh -huh. It's low. That should be more of a round, a burst. So either you're very tired, probably, and haven't had all the sleep that um, your body might need. Okay. Or it could mean um, that Overall, because of the trauma you've had to your brain, your ability to produce enough normal beta is compromised. Remember, I'm not changing your brain with a machine. Right. I'm just, just showing monitoring. you. You're just giving right. us a visual representation of and what's And I'm happening showing you and... how you can do it. So what do I do to get that consistent smooth beta? Well, this, this bar right here, this green one, represents the beta. Am I saying to you, what you need to do is you need that green bar to be lifted up. Your brain says, oh, I can do that. I'm thinking right now I want it to go above six. Ah, okay. Well, you're getting very, okay. very there, close. I got yeah, it. You did. Great. It's actually really fun to sit here and think, I'm going to raise that bar. That's going to go higher. Mm -hmm. And it does. Yes, you're influencing the physical action or function of your brain. So my thoughts are influencing the physical. Right. So. Remember, thoughts are things. Right. And you can see it manifested here. Absolutely. It's absolutely mm -hmm. a thought. Is it right there? Perfect example of that. Oh, I got above six. You did. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, You're Rita. Welcome, it's Peter. lovely to actually meet you and sit Peter. down with you. And I appreciate your sharing yourself with us.